All right, today's book and epic is called Space Explorer Spacecraft. Chapter one, man up. Rockets blast into space. Rovers collect Mars rock. Space stations house astronauts at work. Space probes explore the solar system and beyond. All are spacecraft. Some support human travel. They are manned spacecraft. Manned space travel began in 1961. Soviet co cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin orbited the planet in Vostok 1. Then he fell safely back to Earth. There's a picture of the Vostok 1. All right. The space shuttle was one of the most successful spacecraft of all time. Its first flight was in 1981. It sent people and supplies to space stations. So there's a picture of the International Space Station. The space shuttle made 135 trips. It was retired in 2011. Why? The vehicles were growing old. They were expensive too. Each flight costs more than a billion dollars. Man, that is a lot of money. All right, chapter two. No pilot? No problem. Most spacecraft are unmanned. Some are astronomous robots. Others are remote controlled. Most early missions are flybys. The spacecraft passes close to a planet or moon. It takes pictures on its way past. Whoops, I think I skipped a page. Let me go back. No, I didn't. Okay. To learn more, spacecraft orbit the planet. They do long-term, in-depth studies. Eventually, one might land on the planet's surface. Rovers on Mars travel in the planet's hills and valleys. They study rocks and soil. Unna unmanned spacecraft have visited every planet in our solar system. They have sent us pictures from as far away as Pluto. Take a look. Here are a few of the most recent successful missions. So you can see on here the different planets that they've been to and what kind. It was an orbiter. It was a flyby. And it can tell you which planet it went to. I think it's skipping pages on me. Doesn't it look like it's skipping pages on me? Most spacecraft stay in our solar system, but some have a different mission. At least three spacecraft are on paths that lead beyond the reach of our sun. Who knows what they will find? Chapter 3, The Future. Exploring space is expensive. Most missions have been led by large governments, but the future of space travel may look very different. It is more likely to be led by private companies. Private citizens, too, are reaching for the stars. Where do you think we will travel next? Would you like to play a part? The end. And here are just some activities that they suggest that you could do if you would like. And here is a glossary that gives you the definitions of some of the words we read in our reading. All right, boys and girls, I hope you liked learning about spacecraft.